Hey everyone, this is Gasman4123, and today we'll be going through the Bottle Grotto. And we'll start off immediately by heading on this way. Yeah, need to get past these guys, which at one heart is really scary. So, kill them, and you get the key, which in here. We can go in here. We'll see someone that. Really strange to see in a Zelda game. A shy guy. Anyway, I'll need to bounce him back a little before hitting him in the back. Because their masks make them immune to. I think everything. Mostly. Anyway, in there we get the compass. Head over here. And on down here. That guy. I don't even know how that happened. Get that. Get the key. And keep going. Now I won't even really be needing one key in this dungeon because I'm not going to go into that left room at the beginning since that room is completely useless to me. Anyway, head up here. There's two shy guys. They're a lot easier to kill than the other one. And I probably won't be getting that key unless I die. Head over here. I don't really need to get rid of them, so I'll just keep on walking past them. This room is a little scary. First I'll get rid of these guys so that I don't die. Then I'll move from this guy. And I'll walk over here. Which opens a path. <laughs> I already knew where the path was, so... I just stood on it. Like, quick little platforming section there. Not too hard. Anyway. We go here and here is the mini boss of this dungeon. And I'm probably gonna die. Oh, yep, I'm already dead. Oh. <laughs> I just got chucked against the wall. Well, uh... We'll be back there in a second. Anyway, as I said earlier, I'll get the key if I die, so... I just got that. And we're back. And this time, I hopefully won't die. Anyway, I'll wait for him to charge. Jump out of the way. Spin it back. Well, that time we got some back. That time I didn't. Oh, we got him. Oh no. Hopefully I don't fall in this little pit right here. Alright. I'll continue heading this way. Peace in the way. Head up here. Kinda ignore them because they just get sucked up by that weird... ...sucky thingy, whatever it's called. Oops. I fell. <laughs> Might as well grab that, cause why not? Head over here. There's some booze in here. Get rid of them. You don't get rid of them, they'll just fly off the screen when you light the area up, so. And here, we get the item of the dungeon, the power bracelet. Which is really nice. So now we can easily just pick up these pots. And here's 20 rupees. Head, head over here, and there's a chest. Not too hard to get. Another key. I don't really need to get it, but I got it anyway. 
this is this guy. Ah. I'm dying. No, he snuck up on me. All right, we'll be back there in a second. Actually, I'll get this real quick. 40 rupees. Or 50, 50 rupees, not 40. Anyway, now that we have gotten these power bracelets, we can go in here. In here, there's Goombas, which, unfortunately, if you jump on them, they don't give you a guaranteed heart, like usual. And there's also Piranha Plant, which is kind of funny. Seeing all these Mario enemies in a Zelda game. Anyway, you'll want to kill these enemies in a specific order. I still remember the order because I played the game before. You want to kill the Pulse Voice, the Keys, and then this guy. You get a chest. This is a very important chest though, because it is the Nightmare Key. We'll head up here now. Miss completely. Get rid of all these guys. And the path opens. And down here. Wait for these slow platforms. You need to grab the pot. And I always find it funny how when walking up these ladders, he just kind of carries it on his head. And I realize that he doesn't even really carry it since his arms are too short. <laughs> his arms can't even fit around his head. No, <laughs> it just kind of sits on his head with his arms up. Anyway, here's the boss, Genie. And he has that weird looking thing on his head. Oh, it reminds me of Big Blob Guys. <laughs> his mouth is even the same as Big Blob Guys. Which makes me wonder if, if Genie and Big Blob Guy are related. I mean, they both have very generic names. I mean, Genie, and this guy's literally Genie. And Spike Roller, and he's literally just rolling around with Spike Bar. <laughs> well, this guy is really not that hard. I know he was kind of hard the first time I fought him. Because I didn't really think of this amazing strategy called walking back and forth. And it's, it's really easy. I mean, I literally just stand in this corner for a few seconds. For more than a few seconds. Oh, that was kind of dumb. As I'm making fun of this boss, I just get hit. Anyway, now he's gonna cry about me breaking his bottle. He's gonna spin around wildly. And then, you'll just want to go to the opposite side of the room from him. And then spin attack and hit him a few times. And then he'll just do it again. And something I find funny is that instead of like launching a million fireballs like before, he just kind of punches you like crazy. He can get him rid of him in like two of them. And we won't be getting that evil heart container. We'll be staying at three hearts. Anyway, we got the contour.
Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.